uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and share. You're gonna love this episode, guaranteed. Hello, welcome back therapy talkers. My name is Pauline, and that's Tammy over there or here. Um, and today, as we're recording, it's actually International Women's Day. Yes, <laughs> talk about a holiday within a holiday because this month, March, is also Women's History Month. So you're gonna be watching this video on a Friday. It will be no longer be, or it'll no longer be International Women's Day, but it will still be Women's History Month, so respect. It's always <laughs> a good time to celebrate the woman in you. Yes, and the women around you. So if you're wondering, why do Tammy and Pauline have this iconic look? Well, why not? Right? <laughs> we are representing feminism in America. This is an iconic look for an iconic month, an iconic day. Um, if I could dress like this every day, I would. I, would too. I really dig it. Like the 50s retro look. Yes. Yes. I'm all about it. But red lipstick has a time limit for me. It has a time limit? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but I just needed to say that. I don't know. Rambling here. I done caught the tambling. <coughs> Is there a cure for that? <laughs> Let's check in. <laughs> Let's check in, Tammy. How are you doing? How was your weekend? I am awesome. Um, had a great weekend. It was very, very relaxing. Getting ready for an up and coming trip next weekend. And it's been a very chill weekend. So I really don't have a whole lot to say, but it's just been a really good weekend. So how about you? Mm -hmm. What's going on over there with you? Well, um, I had a very lovely um, weekend, which is going to lead into a great week. I can feel it. Um, but I got to spend some time with two of my favorite ladies. And they came over and we cooked um, shrimp three ways. No recipe involved here. <laughs> And so, yes, we just got to catch up on things and laugh and open up more, which is more of me, you know, me trying to open up more. So they were very supportive to hear what I got going on. And they're like, how are you holding all of that in? I'm like, how do you not? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's not that hard to do. Yes. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what do we have going on today? We are going to talk about the most common diagnoses that women um, get diagnosed with, right? Um, we're going to talk about unique mm -hmm. hormone mm -hmm. changes related to women and mental health. And then we're also going to talk about other mental health diagnoses while all just celebrating women, right? Um, so why right. Women's History Month, you might wonder. I think I heard you ask me that, Pauline, right? Why Women's History Month? Well, here right. is the tea, right? Here's the tea. <laughs> Uh, it started when a group of women, much like ourselves, right? A group of women decided that they've had enough and they are going to make shit happen. So why not? That's what women's been doing all along, but now they just have an international day for it. So that's what we're going to talk about yes. today. Yes, I like, I like this topic. I appreciate it. Empowering. That's a great word too. Well, should I start, start us off? Please do. Please do. Most common diagnoses for women, anxiety, depression, um, and like celebrities such as Taraji P. Henson, she, she has been open about her mental health and even has a foundation um, for individuals who need this type of services and services involving mental health. So she's very open about it. But um, as I mentioned before, today is Monday as we're recording and yesterday, Meghan Markle had her interview with Oprah. I know Tammy loves her some Oprah. <laughs> if you're listening, we will have to see what our schedule allows, but we might be able to make room to talk to you. Yes, let me talk to my assistant. Can you do that thing? Get Oprah on the books. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so Meghan, I have all kinds of respect for her because what she's done is pave the way and like open up our eyes to like, yes, there's, you know, everyone, no matter who you are, where you are, you're going to have struggles, right? 
And so she has opened up about how her mental health was impacted while with the royal family. And she did something credible. Y'all know we like to say no on Therapy Talk with Tammy and Pauline. She said <laughs> no in the most elegant way, eloquent way, and moved from across the pond to somewhere else to maintain her boundaries. I mean, talk about that, Tammy. I only caught a, a glimpse of it. I saw um, a preview to it last week when I was working out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. I forgot about it. But yeah, she talks about like how she was very vulnerable with Oprah as Oprah tends to do. She brings people in and you see Megan and some of it just really upset um, talking mm -hmm. about this. But yeah, they, she still had a lot of boundaries up and around like the reason why she chose what she chose and mm. um, the boundaries that she has for herself and her family, her little boy and her and, and her Prince Charming, um, literally. And um, it was just a really good interview. I popped it on Facebook. If you guys, did I pop it on Facebook? No, that was something else I popped on Facebook. So just ignore that. But um, yeah, check it out. It is a great interview and I need to catch more of it. I didn't have time to watch mm -hmm. the whole thing. But it was, yeah. it was phenomenal. Yeah. So yes. as we're moving into more discussion about like mental health diagnoses, so we talk a little bit about hormone changes, right? So one of the things women go through is perinatal depression, perinatal or peripartal, peripartum depression. That's a tongue twister there. Um, it's also best known and most, most of us know this as postpartum depression, if I could talk today. Mm -hmm. And so that's basically depression after childbirth. Um, so people who have talked about this type of depression, we have Chrissy Teigen, we have Serena Williams, Alanis Morissette, all queens with everything that they do, but they've talked about, uh -huh. um, this type of depression. So the other type uh -huh. of depression in this category of hormone stuff is premenstrual dysmorphic disorder. Otherwise we like our acronyms and mental health, huh? but, uh -huh. um, we have PMDD for short. And that's depression and anxiety before your period starts, but nobody wants to talk about your period. Um, premenstrual disorder is the next one, and that's known as, what we know as, is PMS. That's less severe than PMDD, and if you remember I said pre PMDD is premenstrual dis dis for <laughs> disorder. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Why there you go. can I not talk today? Um, count your blessings. <laughs> and then the last one is perimenopause related depression. So yeah, that's just a, a scratch of the surface of like the hormonal uh, mental health diagnosis yes. that a lot of women get. So yeah. Yes. What are some other yeah. like can more we... prominent? Sorry, Pauline, go ahead. I mean, there's other, but I really want to talk about something that you've mentioned because our goal here is to destigmatize and PMS is something that's <laughs> that it, it irks me when personally when someone is like I'm having a an emotional moment and they're like oh you must be PMSing and I'm like first of all how did you get on my calendar and know what my cycle is to tell me if I'm PMSing how <laughs> right oh that's yeah. huge i hate it when people say that yeah stop going around saying people are pmsing only the person who's experienced experiencing it can say it and so what if they are i mean again <laughs> stop doing it stop nobody <laughs> needs to hear that and it's not helpful by any means just stop it no no, no. and the things that we do while we're going through that is what is amazing because you you, <laughs> you have no idea what we're having to deal with and on top live our lives to the best that we can during these times so watch yourself <laughs> okay i just hopped off my soapbox <laughs> that was a good soapbox to be on and a good message for people about pms i think that's great thank you yes Okay, next, um, there's other um, mental health um, diagnoses that women also experience. Schizophrenia, bipolar disorder are um, other types. And people like Catherine Zeta-Jones, I mean, when she came out about this, it was very big. If you don't remember this, 
The internet is forever. Google. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Demi Lovato, um, in, in this um, season of the world, she's talking about her mental health. So there's that. And then a very common um, diagnosis for women as well as eating disorders. And there's different types, right, Tammy? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Amy Winehouse, rest in peace, my favorite singer, um, she suffered from an eating disorder. And so that's just putting it out there. And people with eating disorders are pretty silent about it, just letting you know. Um, so that's, that's something else. And then can't forget this person, our queen, my queen forever, <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes. Everything. <laughs> yes. Lady Gaga. <laughs> She's talked about her mental health on Oprah. I think Tammy should take this away because she loves her some Oprah. Oprah. Contact us. We'll be watching for that email soon. Um, yeah, so that was the post I posted on Facebook was about Lady Gaga and ah. Oprah. Yes. But Gaga talked about her struggle with mental health growing up. And she and, and it's no secret to her. And probably a lot of her creative talent comes from her experiences with having some PTSD and other things going on in her mm -hmm. life. Um, Pauline, when you and I were together a few weekends ago, we watched some Gaga videos. And I was like, who this girl's creative but she she took some pain and she twisted it around and made it into something beautiful but yeah. um yeah she she was a cutter i didn't know that and um she was raped and she just talks about her struggle with fibromyalgia which mm -hmm. she talked about how it being a trauma response to what happened to her and her body mm -hmm. just reacted and uh, so she has fibromyalgia and how she manages it with with medication and stuff and therapy and and she's a really big um, a really big cheerleader for breaking mental health oh, stigma yes. down. And that's what we need. We need more people who are out there yeah. like us, like Gaga, like Amy Winehouse, like all of the ones we mentioned yes. and so many other thousands and millions of women who are out there changing mm. the stigma for mental illness. So really big shout out to Lady Gaga. Again, that's, that's on the YouTube. You can Google it. Um, but, uh, if you want to, yes. if you want to look, if you want fast and easy, go to our Facebook page and I did post it about that, but thank you Gaga. Yes. For your contribution yeah. creatively and just to us as individuals like you know what somebody like that can struggle it's okay to talk about mm -hmm. she normalizes mm -hmm. it and, yeah and if you're looking for like a, a book about like trauma and body responses this right here highly recommended yes right you know this one tammy yeah. Mm -hmm. So fantastic book. I refer, I for, I refer people to that a lot in my uh, sessions. Um, it's a really good book. Yeah. Tammy, what is going on with your your tongue today? I think maybe the headband is affecting my mouth. I'm guessing that's what it is. Right, 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 let's, right. Let's go with right. that. Anyways. <laughs> So calling out women, if you have been affected by mental health or if there is a person in your life who's made a difference for you in mental health or let's talk about what you're doing to make a difference in the mental health world. Pop world. Pop it down in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Don't be shy. We will write you back. We promise. It's not that long last pen pal that you wrote a letter to in the 80s and never responded. We'll respond. Just give us some messages. We'd love to hear from you. So we want to hear how we can help. If there's other topics you want to see or listen to on Therapy Talk, let us know that as well. But again, we're all in this together, just like Rosie. What does Rosie say? She says, don't suffrage alone. <laughs> so get some help. Signing off. Yes. The best is yet to come. Have a great week, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.